right after a disaster like a hurricane, you know, typically we provide support to the Federal Emergency Management Agency for geospatial damage assessment. So the very first thing that needs to happen is to figure out the area of interest. Then you go out and you collect the variety of data sets that are going to be used in the geospatial damage assessment process. So things like the structure information, so you understand the impact of structures. Elevation data, so you understand what the bare earth is going to be. The event data, the flood depth levels from riverine gauge stations. And then you start the modeling process and couple that information together. Then you need to validate that information using post-event imagery and then output the results. So in order to do the damage assessments, you know, we obviously use a lot of different technologies. We're using geospatial software to be able to ingest all of these different data sets and then modeling tools to develop outputs for our models to then combine those two together. And then how we present the data is key to making sure the decision makers understand the results. And so we provide that information back in tabular format and in spatial format so people can not only look at numbers if they're more comfortable viewing the information in a table format, but look at it on a map and understand where those concentration of damages might be. What that allows us to do is to quickly, within 48 hours, better understand what the post-event impact might be for that particular community. You can also use them to help make federal declaration assistance. If one area has a lot of damages, that can be used to prioritize not only resources, but prioritize funding to those entities. It can also be used to get funding to those communities faster. At Dewberry, we combine the use of our geospatial technologies engineering expertise, disaster management understanding to provide these damage assessments faster than have been previously done before.